Welcoming visitors to Abu Dhabi, the Rocco Forte Hotel's stunning wave light design is the latest landmark on the UAE capital's ever-changing skyline. Due to open later this year, the hotel's unique desert-inspired design made it a particularly challenging project for Atkins and main contractors Al Hassan. Senior project manager Arakis Andriakis takes us behind the scenes. It's a hotel with 281 rooms, uh, ranging from standard rooms, uh, uh, junior suites, executive suites, and royal presidential um, uh, suites. We have five themed restaurants, um, highlighting Italian, Asian fusion, uh, a South American Brazilian um, restaurant. We have a, a ballroom which will cater to um, uh, large meetings, expeditions, or um, weddings. Uh, weddings. We have also eight meeting rooms. We have a spa, uh, a, a, which caters to all to clients of the hotel and external guests. Um, two major swimming pools, a, 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 a children's pool and a main pool, with a, a, a with a pool pool, um, pool bar. We have done uh, major construction methodologies. Usually, we have used precast uh, uh, columns or beams, uh, post tension, and the traditional reinforcement concrete. Uh, we have six uh, specially designed columns uh, from our UK office, which holds the freestanding uh, uh, glazing facade. These columns are 46 meter height. Within this atrium, we have the all day dining, the Asian fusion restaurant, and the sky bar. Uh, both for the services and for the pouring of concrete, uh, each floor was poured three, in three phases to get this. It was a bespoke construction process, so to, um, uh, to keep the curvature, the curves of, of the floor uh, plate. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that we, we were working on the several levels in different phases, C, like phase A, B, and C. You can see us looking at the third floor in phase A, the second floor in phase B, and the first floor in C. That's why we went to consequence. The formwork was specially designed for such kind of curvature, yes. So this it, is, it was a big challenge. Especially we are using the FED post uh, slab. So post slab need to have you know, some straight lines, like to have some straight lines. SGB. That's why we, we divide it. In the services, as uh, MAP services, again, the pipe work, the duct work had to follow all this curvature, and so um, with quite a lot of uh, um, angles uh, applied and the, and, the, and the branches towards each room. Because of the geometry, there's some, we have five different types of standard rooms of, because of the, where it's located within the building structure, it could be a larger room uh, than, than the room next to it. Yeah. Which meant also the furniture had to be specially uh, designed and procured mm -hmm. in different sizes. From a construction point of view, it must be uh, a nice, satisfying project to be involved with. Yes, yes, very much, uh, because it's so different. Uh, I don't want to use the word unique; it's, it's been used so often. But it's so different, and we're, we were we were pleased to work with with great, great, great companies, great contractors, suppliers, and also having um, the input from the massive developer, private developer, and finally the operator who will run this, op this, uh, 